Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is finally Diced, a cooking-themed dice builder roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Next Fest. Quite excited for this one, so let's pop on in and see what it's all about. Hey, chef, thanks for coming in on such short notice. I'm going to teach you how to run our kitchen. At the top of your screen is the docket rack where the customer orders will come in. Okay. Click on the question mark to check what it needs. Any number of sixes. Your job is to fill the dockets with the right dice faces. Select the die to view all the faces. The active face is highlighted. Okay. Serve that. For one second, we're gonna check the audio. All right, drag one of your dice onto the docket. Whoop. And then serve, I assume. You have to serve one or more dockets every round to continue, even if they're wrong. Serve ones. Serve. Customers won't pay for incorrect meals, but you can't always avoid it. So I'm assuming we gotta, like, just go boop boop. Use equipment to make the most of a bad roll. Roll all free chefs. I mean, if we don't really know exactly what's what to save, so we might as well just roll it all. The frying pan can re-roll any unused dice two per round. Two times per round. Yeah, I mean, like, I, since I don't know what I would be saving, could I have saved one of them? I guess. But the thing is, you don't know what you're going to roll. Hey, no match, that's fine. Looks like you got a few dockets up. Here's some more dice. Okay, so we're going to go for lock. Lock. So if I serve it on a, if I serve it now, does it get rid of the other dice or does it unlock the ability to use those? Can I hit Alright, for science I'm gonna hit serve. Does it beef this one? Ah, any dice that are on a docket that is not finished will still be there rex next round. Next round. Scooby Doo. Um Okay. So we could have put one there temporarily. So go for the one, one wild card, meaning like literally I can do anything. That's a freaking match three. Well, if we have a, if we have a match three, then we probably should do our match three this time. I don't know. Wild card plus. I'll see if that serves it. Yeah. The bar shows how long until new dockets stop coming in. Okay. Pretty close there. We we had a one, two, three, four, six. That is impressive. It is actively impressive to get no matches in that. We can serve the wild card too. At this point, we might as well. Last second, we might as well stir. See if we get anything. Can I put more in? What happens if I put more into the wild card? I get the same amount of money. So it's basically just put anything in that one. Okay, cool. Serve, serve. So it should be donezo. Finally diced. Continue. Let's prepare for today's service. Start off by ordering a delivery of ingredients. Mouse over an ingredient to view its size, tier, and any abilities it has. Drag the baguette onto the grid to buy it. Move the baguette around and see what changes. We got one. Oh, gotcha. Each square of the grid represents the sides of your dice. Gotcha. When you're ready for another delivery, or when you're ready, order another delivery. Many ingredients have abilities that add an option to the menu. Drumstick adds a match to. Gives a five, a four match two, a three match three. Interesting, interesting. So this adds a one to all of those sides? Is that what I'm gathering? So we have a lot of money. So let's see, yeah, that puts those at threes. So that makes this a very three dice. 
click the booking tabs to see how many customers we will have today. Not yet. Twos. Match two that gives us a five. Match two that gives us a four. Oh, it also, it adds a four to multiple. Interesting. So, weirdly enough, this baguette will really do nothing for us. Because we can't ever get a match on that one. You know? Twos, match two. Do I care about a two or a four right now? I guess since that goes like that. Two, four, five. It's a really unlikely world in which those will give us what we need. This two is literally redundant. But see, this this adds a four and a five. This is a, has a four and a five on it. So it could happen. Bookings. Each dot represents one customer per round. Cool. Can I order again? I can. Every time you order delivery, it'll have one less option than the previous. Pumpkin. Match two gives us a one option. I mean, that's not bad. There's the two. Match three. It's a three. I suppose why not, right? Another carrots. This is a two. There's one more thing you need to know. It's very important. Click on the bookings tab. Not yet. Not yet. I'm busy. I'm I'm busy making cool dice. Six. Adds one to the column. Add one to column. Add one to column. Interesting. And it adds the option of a full house, which would give us a lot of money, but would ultimately be a little bit sketchy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. Steak gives the option of a straight five, which one I literally could not get. I think it'd be bad for us. Get the freaking avocado. So what's the penalty for me ordering again here? It doesn't seem like much. Value equals adjacent non-basic ingredients. It also adds wild card. Don't know exactly what that means for me here. But it seems fine. And it adds the wild card. There's a couple X's there. Order, we can't do anything else. Uh, click on the bookings tab. If we don't hit our daily revenue, the target... Target the restaurant will go, oh, I have two kids at home and I'm not letting them go hungry because of you. Well, <laughs> my God, you're going to be personally accountable if I lose my job over this. Well, 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 hope you bring your A game because this place is cutthroat. I mean, I, I, sorry about your wife and kids. Get your dice and your menu organized. It's all on you now. Uh, no pressure. So this is a... This ended up being a one to one. Is this the tr that's a trash? So I can't reorganize. Is there no way to reorganize without throwing something away? Because I would kind of like to replace. Hmm. It sure looks like that is literally the trash and not like a a bin. All right, so we were able to manipulate these quite a bit. We've got a match three. I don't know how likely a match three is. Can I? Is there a place I can go to like look at my uh, my dice again? I feel like there may not be, because that would be pretty beneficial. Because at this point, I'm like I don't remember. I mean, I think we go for the double match two. Well, it's here. I think that just makes the most sense. The match threes are going to be a little bit spooky. There's ones there. We might as well... Stir. Wait, what? Did that one get changed? With That was the... Oh, no, that was not the one. Okay. Cool. Hell, we could have had a match four. Okay, we got the other match three...
I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in there. I'm, I know we have the threes already, but... There we go. I feel like getting that in there feels right. So this is... Okay, that's how... That's right. That's how we can see everything that's on there. So it's literally going to be impossible for me to get a match two out of these. Like, I'll stir it for kicks and wiggles. But it's actually impossible. I'll drop the three in there. So does that stay locked? Or can I... Gotcha. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. When you say it stays in there, I thought that that meant that it locked the die. But it does not. So you're actually... Okay. So you could actually get a match two with a single die then. It just would take a couple turns. That's really interesting. If I serve and roll more ones, I'm pretty sure it doesn't help. Okay, we need ones. That should be pretty easy. Pop. 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 <laughs> See how many freaking ones we can jam in there. One. There you go. Finally, dice. Target 60 score, 64 profit, 4. I mean, that could have been bad, like, is the thing. You know what I'm saying? We could have had a problem there. Okay, we got a lot of the, the ones. The ones is not bad. Eight value. The match two. What's up with the match two being worth four? Who has the match two worth four? The pumpkin does. So that's kind of bad for us, but it is also like... Hmm. Match two sixes. Match three twos. This unlocks the match to uh, a, a 14 value. Okay, we, we go for the T-Bones. I think we're going to... I mean, the wild card's not bad, but I think I'm going to ditch that for now. Oh, I'm out of money! I'm out of money! That's... Wow. Okay, for some reason I was like, oh, we're going to be able to keep the 60 bucks. Nope. We actually probably just are going to lose now. <laughs> We're probably just going to lose right after that. Even if we um, literally get everything we need for the entire day, there's actually a good chance we just beef it anyways. Okay. Because we got rid of a lot of our ones. Or some of our some of our ones, at the very least. What are we dealing with here? Is that, a, is that actually a three? It's actually a three. Uh... Oh, man. Stir. See what we can get. Another three. Don't mind that. These are both X's. Of course, we're going to roll them. How many fours do I really even have? Do I bother putting this in? Because then, then it gets locked. If I don't roll a four, we got a problem. I think we can maybe drop that in. Into a match two. Shouldn't be that hard to get. There's the threes. Put in the ones for the match three. And then we have the four here. I mean, hell, we'll just serve that straight up, just like that. Get the one. We got ones. I mean, that's not going to be hard. It has the plus, which does that... What is that about? Pretty good at threes. Roll this, why not? Let's see what we get. We got another one. Cool. Um, I don't think we actually get value from that, even though it has that kind of like plus there. Could have done the match three. Probably should have done the match three. Three in there. Hmm. Okay, give me it. And we got some force. Can we take that out? You can. Does have a four on it? This has a four on it. It's not going to be very. I, I'm just hit me with a new roll. We'll see what we get. Oh yeah, yo. I can tell you one thing that 
or the five is probably not going to get a match anywhere. It could. It could, and watch it happen. So how much money do we need by the end of the day? Pop threes. It's a little bit spicy. So I can't take that four out. Got the three three. Ay, ay, ay. God, I wish I could take that four out. I guess we'll just serve this. Don't want to serve the... the problem. Okay, good. Oof. Overtime. So what's overtime? Was it like, if we didn't get something there, it would have been a problem? Target, nine, or 70 score. We got a profit of 26. Oof. Okay, well, I'm glad we didn't die there. Which feels like that could have been... Could have happened very easily. A match four for 20 is a lot. But it could happen. More baguettes. I, I can't deny that just having another row of baguettes, because it doesn't matter that it's ones. Like that. I don't want that low value match four. So buy a baguette. The baguettes actually seem like, I don't know, crazy good. Match two for six. If we get that out of here, we have a higher tier menu, theoretically. It, it sort of seems like this is a pretty good way of going about it. We get like a very high value match twos and match threes of which we can probably just always get. I guess it just feels like that's sort of the the strat. Three, three, serve. Should give us quite a bit of money. One. One, one. I guess the penalty is that we have... We have to meet a lot of match threes. That's the scary thing, but... It's not hard to do, so... Freaking four. Get out of here. Okay. Three before it turns into something else. We'll do the one, because it's, it's more of a guarantee there. Okay. And of course. So now we can't get rid of that. Well, we definitely have it tomorrow, so. It takes, like, any of the... Basically, we have manipulated the menu to take out all of the RNG. Or almost, almost all. One, two. We're guaranteed three ones every time. And it's not giving us any kind of... A, there's no penalty to the fact that they are ones, right? The penalty would maybe come from the fact that we need to make sure we get a straight of four. That is not happening. Garlic wild card. Match two. A match three for 12. Now, it's a little bit spicier. A match three for 12. So we'll ditch the carrots. We'll get this. Match two for four. I, that takes up three spaces. We're looking for a sideways thing. Match two for six. Match two for 12. Okay. Nah. 
Match four for 12. I mean, it's a lot. Do want something that just fills up the space. I guess I'll I'll get that literally just why not? Match four for twenty-four. Now that is probably gonna be the way to go, right? Now it's gonna be kinda challenging. I'm doing it. We can take that, get an extra one. Help with our match four. We could get a match four for 24 now. We could also get the ones for two, though. That's, in fact, I'm actually removing that. As I just don't want that to be one of the options. Because it just takes up orders that will otherwise be just better. Serve that. Okay. So the four, one, one, one. I mean, the six, we probably could be fine, but let's just, yeah, we'll drop in the fours instead. So the four, let's start going on the, the, uh, the match four. Whoop. The four can be our match two. I mean, this is, it's going to be a lot more money. So there's nothing saying I have to do any of this in a very specific order. That'd be interesting if it had like kind of that overcooked, you know, you sort of had, or do we have to do it left or right? No, right? Doesn't seem, doesn't seem like it's rewarding that. So this could be four. It could be a one, I guess. Yeah, we're looking for the four angle. Good, good. You're not mad, are you? No, they just fly out in a wild way that made it kind of look like it was going to be a problem, but it wasn't. All right. We have a lot that we have to fulfill, but we can totally, we just can totally do it, is the thing. Boop, boop. The baguettes are cracked. The baguettes beget you a uh, big payday. All right. Match four for 20. Match three for 12. Match three for 12 is a lot worse than match two for 12. That's not cheap. Match three for 18 is... That's, that's really good, but... We don't have a clean place to put it. Match four for 18. Nah. Okay. Full house for 12 is... It's fine. Adjacent basic ingredients become two. Straight five for 25. We just cannot do that. Two for eight, three for 18. Four for 12 sucks so bad. That's fine. Yeah. There's just nothing we, uh, nothing that's gonna be better here. I find it hard to believe we're gonna wanna go for a different angle than what we have. It just seems kind of like the best. So, did we get rid of our fours? We have a four, five, six. Four, five, six. So we are going to have a slightly harder time finding a specific. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. Actually, in case it's a six, I guess we'll do it first. That's kind of what I thought. Oh, shoot. That's the penalties. If we can't serve one, we got a problem. We, that's the big, that's the big scary. 
If you can't serve anything, you're screwed. That's the danger of the, the four. The match four. And only having the three guaranteed ones. Woof. But we're getting good money. The five down, the one, the one. Uh, we're already, if we're serving a dish, then we want to start going on this one, I'd say. Oops. Why did I ditch my five? It was not on purpose. And I think we can start the six over there. I think that'll be fine. But we're getting started on our match four. We can finish up our match four. Complete the match on the five. Sure. It's get it's it's certainly getting a little bit dicier. Good. No extra rolls needed on that one. Okay, thank God we got a six, otherwise we wouldn't be able we would have to serve a, a failed dish. Okay, one. We can even do the one and the one. It doesn't really matter. We could even do no, never mind. I thought those were both sixes. Alright. Ease peas. Get bodied. Do we ever get uh different abilities? I, I wonder. Not that I need them right now. Wait, what? What's that? What's that symbol? That's not a. It's not a one. Hmm. Match four for twenty. I mean, that would cause a problem. If I replace this with the match four for twenty, it would be a large issue unless we had more ones. I guess I, I can see the baguettes becoming problems later. They're not problems right now. Match two, bun ability none. Match two for four. Yeah, I, I can't even get another baguette in there at this point. I really don't think that I have anything I want to replace. Match four for 16 is trash. Okay, we got some fours. If we got the fours to complete, then we start putting in the uh, the match four. Oops. Hey, land, thank you. Start putting in the ones. I guess I'll go for a match. Can't get the four. I do think we just drop it over there. Okay. Just getting the four is better, though. Oh, boy. One. One. We can start the serve on that. I mean, we might as well roll, see if we get two of the exact same. Like, we might as well. Now, that's going to be a little bit weird. We should be fine, though. And of course we got two fives. That's the extremely awkward way for that to go, but it still works. We leave the six and the uh, the four kind of flowing out there. So we can finish off with the four. Good. We can ar we can already serve. Let's stir this and hope for a six, though. It would be convenient if this could give me a six. Thank you. Just kind of just kind of fell. <laughs> Ooh boy. You know what? I think I might go for the beginning of a match four for six. It's a little bit sketchy. And by that, I mean it's very sketchy. We'll get that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what have I done? Okay, we only need one six now. It's a little bit, it's a little bit spookier, round eight. Just need one more six. It's a one in three chance for these. Okay, good. Whew. Match four. Oh, shoot. 
We got bodied. There's uh, there's no way for me to complete this order. So we have to take the zero for it. That's the downside. Ooh. Profit 231. Dang, man. We've done it. Congrats on beating the demo. Here's the spiced pumpkin soup recipe. Well, there we go. Well, <laughs> thank you for the recipe. I really like it. I, I think that, uh, yeah, the interesting... It's a really interesting balance. I like that you're kind of crafting out your menu, kind of make a, a nice, tight system. I think that uh, the room for improvement is something that is probably going to be improved in the full game anyways, which is just, you know, more variety. Like, how what are you what are you doing to pull the player back for a run that's gonna feel distinctly different? Cause I I think that that's the tough area, right? It's you you almost need like very weird specific combos or like things where when you put them more more ingredients that do things like um, the adja adjacent blank becomes blank or adjacent faces have this happen to it. I think more more abilities. I don't know, like maybe interesting events events that happen on certain days or could randomly happen on certain days where like, I don't know. You, you know, that that's up for developer expression, I would say at that point. But just things that is the area to focus on. I also do want to mention uh, that I there the game does have a moving perpetually moving background that I do think looks good and nice and is fun. Uh, it was moving a bit fast for for me to have it going the full time with everything else, all the other motions that's going on. I do kind of like it, though. I wonder if just the same thing, but a little bit slower uh, would honestly just be something that I'd like to have on normally. I don't know. But these are all minor things. It's like a nice tight game, and I know that this is the developer's first game, and it's a very good one at that. Um, I, I I really like it. It's up my alley. I think it's really fun. I think you can take it even further. Uh, you can even have, like, I don't know, maybe more specific recipes where it's like you need to put in a one, then a two, then a one, or something like that. Because that that begs some interesting um, play styles where it's or uh, interesting turns where you're like, okay, well, that's so specific that I almost maybe need to do that over the course of two rounds or something like that. I think that there's a lot of interesting areas to play with. I think it's a cool theme. I think it's uh, a very rich theme that you can pull a lot of ideas from. Uh, but alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelike some more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.